In this video, we are going to show you two methods to fix your stretched and spindly plants. The first method will entail a simple repotting while the second takes a look at multiplying your plants using cuttings. If you are interested in keeping the info discussed in this video on hand then check out the link to our ebook in the description. Here at Agriculture Academy, we are passionate about sharing our expert knowledge with you. On our channel, you will find videos on plant propagation, tips for starting side hustles, animal husbandry and everything in between. In this video we are going to fix these leggy osteospermums. Before we dive into that, let's briefly discuss why plants stretch. In response to low light conditions, growth regulators known as auxins are produced and as a result, the stems stretch in search of more light. This response is commonly observed in seedlings when light availability is low either during overcast days or if they are planted too close to one another. In the case with these osteospermiums, the plants are leggy due to defoliation lower down on the stems. This may have been caused by environmental stresses like waterlogging or dry soil. The process of repotting your leggy seedlings is a simple one. Choose a container, or dig a hole, that will allow you to cover the stems with soil. When repotting your plants, make sure to use a good quality mix with a good balance of water retention and aeration, and you can also add a slow-release fertilizer. You can also add a mulch to the pots. By using this method, not only will your plants appear less leggy, but depending on the species and situation, new leaves may start to grow and your plant will start to appear fuller. It is for this reason we did not cover the bare stems completely. If you're looking for a method that not only fixes leggy plants, but multiplies them too, then you may want to take cuttings. Unfortunately, you will not be able to use this method on all plants, like some annuals and young seedlings for example. In this case, our osteospermum is a mature perennial and therefore suitable to take some cuttings. To take your cuttings, remove the stem towards the base of the plant. If the stems are long enough, you can cut it in two and make cuttings from both pieces. When taking cuttings, the basic principles are as follows. Remove the lower leaves and cut the remaining ones to about half the size. This will minimize water loss as the plant transpires. You can score the bottoms of the cuttings to enhance water uptake. Dip the bottoms of the cuttings in rooting hormone. These powders contain plant growth regulators called auxins, which encourages rapid and reliable root development. Place the dipped ends into a rooting medium, we use moistened coir, but there are many options at your disposal, even good quality potting mix will do. You will have greater success if you use a medium with a high water holding capacity. You can use vermiculite, peat moss, and coir to improve a medium's water retention. Keep your cuttings in a humid, bright area and make sure the medium never dries out. We placed our cuttings in a misted propagation house. After three weeks our cuttings had started to grow roots.
Repot these rooted cuttings into a good quality potting mix. A slow release fertilizer can also be used to ensure rapid root growth and adaptation to an outdoor growing environment. And that brings us to the end of this video on fixing stretched and leggy plants. If you have any tips, let us know in the comments. Remember your copy of our ebook and we will see you in the next video.